Hello friend, guess where am I? Yeah, I'm in Poland. I'm back, finally. After this half year living in China, I really need a therapy. So I immediately come to the forest. This forest is so nice. I hope I will find a lot of mushroom. But today's subject is not to talk about mushroom. Today, in few points, I will try to make a summary of my stay in China. I hope that you will stay with me until the end of this video. And after, you can tell me what you think about this subject. I think if we compare the life in Europe as sailing a yacht in the lake of Lucerne, then the life in China will be canoeing in the Pacific Ocean. It is more challenging and more exciting. But we also had some fun. Let me tell you more about it. At the beginning, when I came back to China, I was so excited. I finally came back to my country and I came back to my people. All the people will speak Chinese and people understand each other. Nobody will think that I do weird things because we have a similar habit. And, and I also have my hard mattress and I really like it. In the past few years when I was not in China, I miss my country a lot and I was really full of expectation that something good might happen in China. That's why when I came to China, I was so excited to see the good change in China. And that's why we went to many places in, in Nanjing city. We walked in the most uh, popular tourist attractions. And we also walked in a normal street. But well, this time, I definitely feel I'm not a tourist. So the most popular tourist attraction, they are actually not so attractive to me on the country those ordinary streets they are very appealing because there are many people people are doing business people are chatting and people play with children and many things happening in the street and a lot of street restaurants we can eat different type of chinese food and that is life and it is so different from europe in europe you don't see too many people in the street, especially after work hour and in weekends. You don't even know where people are and you don't know what they are doing. But in China, there are people everywhere. And I enjoy to be in a crowd. And also we have a trip to Kunming, the city where I was born, my hometown. And I always like the city. I hope that we can stay there for longer. Of course, the best part is to meet friends and meet family. We have a chat with the friends that I haven't seen for years. However, China is just too big. If you want to travel from one place to the other, and it is annoying. Like in Nanjing, if we want to travel from home to the center city, we need to take metro and sit in the metro for one hour. Don't even mention from Nanjing to Kunming, we take a flight for three hours. So sometimes I prefer to stay at home, do not travel. The thing that troubles me the most is the pressure. When I was in China, I feel very stressful. When I'm not in China, I don't care about other people's opinion. But when I came to China, I automatically put myself in that environment and I think about how other people will judge me. And I know that many people don't understand my choice, my decision that I quit my good job and run to Europe and, and live a life in Europe. But nobody come to me and point at me and directly say this to me. I just know what they are thinking of. And when I care what they think about it, I cannot make peace with myself. In China, people like to compare. They compare their lives with other people's lives. They compare how much money they can earn and how much money other people can earn. When we meet with our friends and family members, it seems that the only thing they care about is what job we do and how we earn money and how much money we earn. This is the only thing that can make them believe that I really have a good life and have a happy life in Europe. And when I told them that I have a YouTube channel, they don't seem to care too much. <laughs> they don't say that they want to watch. Oh, I find, I just find a bullet. Not only this, I think the society has um, 
very bad attitude. People has very bad attitude. Many people they don't think independently. They attack people on the internet when they see somebody say something that they don't like. Especially now I'm working with my husband who is a foreigner and I feel very worried about it <laughs> because you know recent years the Chinese people start to like less and less less foreigners, especially Japanese people. And there is a general hatred about Japanese people in China. It was because of our education. We were educated to hate the Japan because they committed crime in China during Second World War and now they don't want to admit it. Just yesterday in Shenzhen, a guy killed a Japanese boy on the way to school. And how much he has to hate the Japanese people to do this kind of thing. It is horrible. And just three months ago, a similar case happened in Suzhou. So I was very careful when I was in China and I'm very careful when I'm not in China as well because I'm afraid that if I say something not nice and people will think it's offensive and they will start to attack me or even one day I will just disappear somewhere <laughs> and I, I also had very serious stomach problem, very sensitive maybe it's not directly related to the food safety problem but maybe it is because partially because of this and partially because I'm too stressful and everything worked together so I have this <laughs> serious body reaction <laughs> but it is funny <laughs> when I come back to Europe I feel much better <laughs> Now let's talk about everyday life. To go shopping for everyday necessary things is not a problem in China. You can always find a market and supermarket to buy the things you need. But it is interesting, in China, the price of meat is very expensive. That is very surprising for me. But well, usually, in China, doing shopping is quite convenient. You can buy everything online. You can. You can find anything you want and they will deliver to your door. However, if you say it's convenient, it is also very tiring. I spend a lot of time in online shopping because you know you have to compare the price, compare the products and the quality and finally make a choice and even to calculate what will be the best price to buy everything together because they have a lot of promotion. Not only take a lot of time, but also I I feel very cranky after doing all those things. The most serious problem in China is that there is no open free internet. So we need the internet. If there's no internet, then our life is very limited. And we need to watch YouTube. We need to see the news from the world. So we have to buy some VPN. But our VPN didn't work for a long period of time and really seriously infect our life. I don't know how I survived before I start to use VPN. <laughs> in conclusion, the normal life in China has no tremendous problem. Okay, let's tell some truth right now. If you already get used to the European style of life, then you go to China, it will be a little bit difficult because, you know, it is very easy to make a sandwich with bread, cheese and salami and some tomatoes. But in China, except for tomatoes, bread, cheese, butter, salami is nowhere to find. Of course, you can find the internet, but it's not like here in Europe, it's so easy, so fresh, you can just buy it in a shop. And in China, we don't have this forest, the similar forest is very open and wide. We can just come and enter so easily and there are mushrooms everywhere. But in China, I don't know where to find this forest. If you're not a professional, then it's hard to really go to a real nature when you live in a big city. And each time I have to say that in China, I'm so afraid of walking past by people who speed and this is really the things that I cannot tolerate
In the end, after half a year living in China, I feel tired. Now it's good time to come back to Poland and start a new life. Maybe after some time, I would like to go back to China again. Yeah, I would like. Why not? If you ask me whether do I recommend people to come to China, of course I would like to recommend people to come to China. It is my country and I would like it to be popular and I would like it to be liked by people all over the world. But, but I personally, I think maybe right now is not the best moment to visit. It's not so safe as it is claimed. However, let's just uh, keep silent for this subject right now in this video. I think after watching our videos from China, you more or less know some something more about China already. And how do you think about China? And how do you think about life in China? Wow, this is really a nice forest. No matter what depression I had, now I'm totally cured. Okay, that's today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy. See you next time. Bye bye.